what is up youtube okay breaker mighty here with my uh first edited video on this channel yeah hey that's exciting um i don't do a lot of editing as you can see from my other content on this channel <laughs> anyway but um i'm i'm being more profesh now i'm being more profesh i am taking stand up a little more seriously i am being more consistent at the funny bone uh, basically you have to like just go a lot. The Scott James just had it on a little spiel before signups, uh, about how it works. So, uh, definitely drilled into my brain about how it works. But yeah, I'm more consistent. I'm showing up every Tuesday. I'm inviting people. Hey, if you want to come, drop a comment. I need your confirmation that you're coming, like, preferably that night. <laughs> They're like, hey, I'm coming, and like right before signups. But anyway uh yeah like i'm going to the clubs now i'm going to the clubs now signing up at the club westport funny bone tuesdays that's right now that's what i'm going to be more consistent at uh it's a very classic comedian at the grind i guess um nikki glazer gave me a big uh encouragement to go i met her yeah i met her i met her like twice now um anyway but the first time i met her uh she like was like oh do you do the the club or the funny bone and um i go no those are super intimidating and she goes look listen i know it's very political but you have to do the clubs it sucks i know but you just gotta do it you just gotta put in the work in the clubs and i'm like okay all right oh I'll, I'll do that and definitely planted the seed and then i started doing it and now i'm doing it I'm inviting people too, because if you invite people, you get stage time. So I invited some people, I got some stage time. Ooh. That's what uh, the, the next couple clips will be. Uh, so basically, how this is going to go is, I'll go to the Funny Bone. I will practice my stuff before I get there. Like right before I get there, I'll like take a quick video. I practice my joke. I, there's a timer on the phone. I run through the joke and then so the first clip will be me practicing my joke like an hour before signups or whatever and then the next clip is gonna, just gonna be a picture of me i haven't worked out video ing at the funny bone i don't know how to do that uh i'll have to work on that because i'll be more consistent now i can like plan ahead anyway um so it'll just be a picture of me with some audio uh definitely thought the laughter was louder on stage i listen back and i'm like eh didn't seem that loud maybe it was just my big ego anyway and then always hindsight you run off stage and you're like oh i forgot that punchline i forgot this punchline i forgot this whole other punchline here and then you're like oh well it's it's in the past now but then you start thinking of new punchlines you're like oh my god creative energy just on a train <laughs> like <sighs> bullet train but anyway so th this is an introductory clip this will happen every time I do the funny bone. Introductory clip here. The next clip will be me practicing my joke. And then the third one will be the actual stage time. So some some weeks I might even not get stage time. So I'm just practicing by myself. But yeah, I won't post those. I'll post the ones I practiced before the show. Anyway, uh, until I hope to do more of these. Uh, so Breaker Mighty Funny Bone Edition. <laughs> until next time, bye. Please put those hands together and welcome to the stage, Matt Damridge. Clap, clap, clap. Oh, hello, Funny Bone. Um, my, na my name is Matt Damridge, and back when I was in kindergarten, I went to a, a Catholic pri private school. And I remember these older kids walked up to me and they're like, say your last name and I go Damridge and they go you said a bad word I'm telling and then I'm just like I'm fucking five man come on give me a break <sighs> fuck you <laughs> anyway but yeah I was, a, I was a pretty dorky kid growing up I mean I'm kind of dr dressed I have a kiss t-shirt I'm at an open mic I am a dorky kid definition but um, also in kindergarten, they ask you like, oh, hey kids, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you're like, then you can like shoot for the stars. You can be like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a teacher. 
I want to be a firefighter. Like, all the cool stuff. Or, like, a scientist. And then I raise my hand super confidently. I go, I want to be Johnny Appleseed. Yes, all the other kids laughed at me, too. Because <laughs> we learned about Johnny Appleseed recently. And it was... And I remember going to Eckert's and picking apples. And I just wanted to be... The, the, the next Johnny Appleseed, you know what I mean? Kind of like I want to be the next, uh, like rock star. <laughs> Some but then I'm thinking, like, what would the modern day Johnny Appleseed be? I would, I guess I would be. Uh, well, the real reality is Johnny Appleseed was just like some sort of bum, went town to town, and like got food and lodging over like agricultural skills. And apples, kind of like snake oil, but like, I don't like legitimate science behind it a little bit. From then, like apples were like revolutionary. It was new technology, you know. Um, but then now I'm like thinking, like, what would the modern day Johnny Appleseed be? I guess I would be on Grand and Gravelway with a like an air fryer on my head, and I'd be talking to people about like cryptocurrency. I'd be like, um, what's your NFT game, little guy? Like, guys, come on now. I am Johnny Cryptocurrency. Um, I will take apples and I will take Apple products for payment and you can pay for my Airbnb. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, like that's what the, that's my dorky kid. Um, inflation, is that like still a buzzword these days? Inflation? Um, yeah, like, I mean, overall, the concept, I understand, like, inflation. I've, I've seen a couple YouTube videos about it. I'm, like, pretty well-versed in the knowledge. I mean, I don't, I can't tell you anything now, but, like, if I watch those videos again, I'd be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what inflation is. Uh-huh, that thing. Um, yeah, we can't print no more money. I'm sorry. But I take it very personally whenever a cashier whips out the black marker and like uh, draws on my $20 bill as if I'm trying to get away with something. Ma'am, I got this $20 bill from the ATM like everyone else. Don't judge me with that tiny little crusty marker. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh my God, I like that. Oh, but the one thing I don't, I get inflation as a whole, but like one thing I don't understand is touch tunes. You're telling me you're gonna raise the price by two or three dollars at Touch Tunes? I'm playing Man Hannah Montana at Applebee's. What the hell is that? Even? How does that go up? My name is Matt Damage. Thank you very much. Keep that going for next screen coming to the stage, Matt Damage. Hello, hello. Thank you. Um, I remember in kindergarten, like some older kids walked up to me and they go. Say your last name. I go, Damrich? You said a bad word. We're telling. And I'm like, I'm fucking five, man. Go fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Poopy head. Uh, in kindergarten, they ask everybody, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they're like, oh, I want to be a doctor because I love helping people. You, I want to be a teacher. Brownie points from the teacher. The kid wants to be a teacher. I raise my hand confidently. I want to be Johnny Appleseed. As if that was a fucking career? <laughs> like, they're now hiring Johnny Appleseed up the street. Uh, in, headhunters are looking for us. We got kitchen appliances on our heads. Watch out. Uh, but no, like, as if that was a real career. Um, I was thinking, what would the modern day Johnny Appleseed be? I'd be like, I think I'd be on Grand and Gravoy with uh, like an air fryer on my head. And then I'd be talking about cryptocurrency. Like, <laughs> What's your NFT game, little guys? Come on. What's it, what is it? I'm Johnny Crypto. Come on, let's go. Inflation. That's a, still a hot buzzword, right? Still inflation, right? Easy to blame. Price is going up. Oh, inflation. I like how I have the intelligence. I know what inflation is for like 8 to 12 minutes. But that's while I'm watching a YouTube video. Someone telling me about inflation. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get it, yeah, yeah, all right. And then at the end of the video, I'm like, I don't know what he said. Um, <laughs> let's, let's replay, let's replay it. And as I'm like listening, I'm like, oh yeah, bad, we can't print more money, no. 
and being like, I still don't know, but I think I'm more of an expert than you. Um, <laughs> so on YouTube. I always take it personally when I hand a, a cashier like a $20 bill, and they whip out that tiny little black marker and they scribble on it. <laughs> what do you think I'm trying to pull here? I'm getting a nice coffee, not running like money laundering schemes. Come on now, like do you see how I'm dressed? <laughs> Come on, I got this 20 from the bank and they know how much I make. <laughs> uh, uh, the one thing that does make sense with inflation is I know like some things the price of goods go up because of gas and transporting it, yeah, that makes sense. I, what I don't get is his touch tunes went up in price. <laughs> like, what the? How did that go up? I'm trying to play Hannah Montana at the Applebee's. <laughs> maybe, maybe mine went up. I don't know. Uh, I got on late level radio killer. That means I played a thousand songs on touch tunes. That's a lot of that's a lot of money going on. Uh, I I'm called radio killer because I kill the radio. Like I play so much Hannah Montana and. People are like, stop it, and they unplug it. A lot of wasted coins there. Hmm. I feel good about this now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Pat Damage. Thank you much. Pat Damage, everyone.